damaged almost to the point of destruction. A truck driver crashes right into this historic bridge in Long Grove just weeks after it became a national landmark and months after it was renovated. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff gives us one guess as to how this happened. This was the view through the 30-year-old truck driver's windshield ahead Long Grove's historic and newly restored covered bridge until it wasn't after he barreled his 15,000 pound truck right through it. Did you run up and say, what the hell? Yes, we did. What are you doing? And then uh, unfortunately the driver had a little bit of a smile on his face and that's where we explained that you just hit a historic building. The timing couldn't be worse. This is the sign designated uh, for because it was just deemed historic 16 days ago. Combine that with a big bridge celebration planned for July 12th and the damage goes beyond words just disbelief and really that feeling of being punched in the gut. So did you come running out when it happened? We all did. Everyone around yeah. here. Ryan Messner says the trucker drove onto the bridge 9,000 pounds overweight after blowing a stop sign, ignoring three no truck signs, and then it gets worse. His comment to everyone was, I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at my phone. It left the Long Grove nostalgic distraught. I was just to walk over this bridge, so I guess it's a little heartbreaking and others strolling up simply to pay their respects to the 112 year old fixture. When you see something that's sort of a, a beloved um, icon for you in, in whatever way, when you see that destroyed, that tugs on your heart. Officials here say the driver did have insurance, but exactly when repairs will take place and when that much anticipated celebration will now be held, that's all unknown. In Long Grove, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. A Lake County Sheriff's Department spokesperson says 30-year-old Roberto Orozco was cited with four moving violations. He told residents it was his first day on the job. <laughs> and the first might be his last. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's one of those you want to get away moments. Oh, my goodness. I think he wants to on get away.